Alright guys, welcome to another Mostly Gaming video. Um, today, as you can see, we're going to play some Prominence Poker. Now, it's not going to be as exciting as my arms live stream, I'm sure, because uh, that had me sort of jumping around going like this. But um, it should still be pretty entertaining, if you don't mind uh, a fairly slow paced game. Um, and in case you hear me chewing at any point, I've got these sour drumstick squashies, which are really nice. But um, I kind of figured it'd be more interesting if I sat at a sort of three quarters view to the camera. And then at the very least, you get a nice sort of view of my poker face. Just don't know that the players in this game decide to um, spy on me as such, because that would really suck. Okay, so let's find a game. I don't generally do ranks, but we'll do we'll do casual. Oh crap. So just waiting for it to connect. Might take a minute because I'm also live streaming at the same time. But I thought just something nice and calm tonight. And if I get bored, I've always got the ukulele, I suppose. Just uh, waiting for it to load. Oh, here we go. Right, should we shuffle so we're behind the dealer? Give you a nice clear view of what's going on. So for those of you who don't understand poker, I'm going to try and teach a little bit. So the aim of poker or at least the general gist of it, is that you've got two cards given to you at the beginning of a hand, right? Everyone has to then bet on whether they think their hand is the best hand or not. So I'll give you an example. So these are the blinds. There's always two players that pay, pay, blind. play, pay blinds, I should say. So we've got a jack and a ten. That's actually pretty good. So, you can either bet, or because we already paid the blinds, we can check, assuming no one raises. He raised, dick. Um, so we're going to call him. Which So calling means that we're um, meeting his bet. He bets 105 tokens that he can. his hand is better than mine. Mm, possibly, but I, I'm not sure. Don't be intimidated by the number of chips he's got either. He's trying to get me to go all in, isn't he? Okay, we'll go all in and see what happens. Oh, no, he's got two queens. Wow, he played me for a sap. Not that it's hard. But yeah, he won with a very basic pair there. I say basic, but you know. <laughs> okay, so basically the idea is you're supposed to try and get the best hand using a combination of uh, one or two of your cards that you having that you're given, and uh, up to three or four of the hands in the middle of the cards in the middle of the table. So. Um, So the so for example, if you don't have any, if you have two of a card, that's called a pair. So that's if you have a, if you can have a pair of fives, for example, you might have five of hearts, five of clubs, that would be a pair. Or you can have two jacks or two tens, that would be a pair. If you get three of a certain 
card, like twos or jacks again, or queens or aces, um, that counts as three of a kind. If you get a four, that counts as four of a kind. Um, you can't get five because there's only four suits. Should be fairly obvious. The best possible hand I find you can get in this game, or in, in poker in general, is if you would start with two aces. Because that's the best possible pair you can get. Excuse me. So that's a basic setup. If you get a pair and then three of a kind in the same hand, that counts as a full house, which is better than pairs. In fact, I think I've got a. There we go, cheat sheet. This gives you an idea of what the best and worst possible hand you can get at. So the high card is the sort of worst you can do because it's like you didn't even try. Pair is a very basic one. Two pair is better than a pair, so two separate pairs. Um, three of a kind is three of the same rank. Straight is five cards in sequence, but not necessarily the same suit. Um, flush is... Go back. I'm talking to my audience. Go back. That guy won with a basic pair. Um, a flush is any five cards of the same suit, but not necessarily in sequence. Full house is three of a kind combined with a pair. Four of a kind is better than the full house. Straight flush is any five card sequence in the same suite. And a royal flush is the best you can get. An ace, a king, a queen, a, ja a jack, and a ten. All of the same suit. So let's see what we've got. We've got a four and a six. That's a very average. Not worth killing ourselves over, so... Let's see what we can We're going to at least meet them. And see what comes up. See, four. F if we had a five, I'd be very confident right now. In fact, we've got four spades, so that's a f potential flush there. Now, checking means that you're not going to place the bet, but you're going to um, stay in the hand anyway, which is kind of useless if someone bets or raises. So, she, that person next to me bet 50 tokens, we'll call them. Everyone else is meeting the bet because they're confident in their hands. So I'm going to meet because I'm pretty confident. That, okay, we've got a pair of threes at best, or at worst. This time, let's bet. Now, you can bet as much as you want. Or you can go all in, which means you're betting everything you've got. But you only ever have to meet the other players. You don't have to go over unless you really want to intimidate them. A raise generally means that you are very, very, very confident. More so than if you were just calling. Now normally, in if you were playing real life poker, you would have... Eh, that's annoying. I've got sweets, but um, not much beyond that. I'm going to fold, I think. Don't think I'll do very well with that hand. So if I had two more diamonds, um, or an extra spade, that would have been a flush, and that would have been a really good hand to have. But I didn't, so I haven't got that. Two pair, yeah, see. Two eights and two threes. basically you keep get betting until everyone's bets are equal or until some everyone but one player drops out let's see five and a ten spades that's a good hand that's a pretty solid hand so we'll call at least I'm not gonna go nuts though If you raise too much or you call too much, sometimes that'll scare off other players. The aim is to increase the amount of tokens you can get in any one game. Six and a queen and a five, five, six, seven, 
if we've got an eight and a nine, if we've got an eight and a nine in the next card, I would consider that good. Do I really think it's going to happen though? For two hundred coins, um, let's take a chance. Let's have a look. Generally, I would advise against taking chances. But you never know. Four, five, six, seven. It could work. Let's see if we can scare him. Let's go all in. All in is kind of the big play in this game as well. Now, I, I probably am screwed round about now. We'll see. That person's got two pair, I need a three or... Nope. Not this time. They got a straight. A flush would have beaten a straight, but... Um, unfortunately, not this time. <laughs> I have literally 180 tokens left. All someone has to do is bet that much, and I'm sc I am screwed. But again, two and a five of clubs, so they're in the same suit. That's good. The two and a five in by themselves would not be very would not be worth writing home about. She's only got nine coins left. I keep calling them coins, but they're tokens, so. But yeah, I like I like sort of this more laid back style of game sometimes. Don't get me wrong, ARMS is awesome, Overwatch is awesome, everything is awesome, everything is cool. Um Don't wanna waste all my coins. No, I'm folding. Oh stupid, I'll fold on that one. Then again, if a two and a five come up now I'm gonna be really angry. Sometimes though, these people just seem to just go all in. I mean, I'm generally not into the whole compare your dick size contest, so this doesn't particularly bother me what they're doing right now. Someone, some, at least three people are walking away from the table here. Yeah? Two, three, four, five. Eh, I could have stayed in, but then I'd be waiting for an ace or a six. You don't want yourself in a position where you're waiting for a card to come up. So you know, I'm glad I, I'm glad I sat out of this one. All they have to do is check because they've still got a lot of chips left over. Oh no! <laughs> Look at that. Ace two three four five. Aces can count as one if they're part of a, of a low flush, which starts at one. Otherwise, the count as above kings. Oh, that's annoying. Oh, I could have won over 6,000 tokens if I'd have stayed in. But them's the breaks. You've got to go with the odds. <laughs> and I did not like those odds. Never tell me the odds. Looks like the bot back in. Let's have a look. Four and a three of spades, yeah. That's a good hand. But it's okay. Four and a three is not really great, but they're of the same suite, so they're worth at least getting to the river. I'm gonna be honest, I can't remember all the names of like the different stages of play here. I know there's a river and the flop is usually either the fourth or fifth card if I'm thinking right. Okay, I've got a pair of fours, but all it would take is for someone to have an ace or a queen, and they'd beat me. I'll call and see where this gets us, but I'm not confident. Excuse me. Another four comes up, that's three of a kind, which is really solid. 
The trick to poker is remembering that. The trick to poker is remembering that you can do really well. It's it's not about getting aces necessarily. It's all about getting the best type of hand. So if you had a pair of aces, for example, th three of a kind with all fours would uh, would beat it. See, no, that was never going to work for me. She's won that. The side part, sometimes a player will go all in, but the other other players will have more chips anyway so they don't have to go all in so what happens is after that turn the side pot starts getting built up and the side pot will essentially go to the person who comes in second place or if there's only two people and one loses outright um, it will go to the overall winner so an S and an 8 clubs that's pretty good In terms of like a single, in terms of a single sweet, the ace is the best card you can possibly get. I'm not confident though. I know this is all coming through fairly, fairly clear, clearly. Unlike my voice, I'm getting tongue-tied. Ah. It doesn't matter if I have an ace. It really doesn't matter because if anyone's got a pair of anything, I'm dead. How much is it? 40. You know what? Let's go all in. Screw it. You only live once. That only plays that that little cinematic will only play if you are the first player in a turn to go all in. They're waiting for me to fall now. Nah. I ain't won this. No way. Not unless an ace comes up. No freaking way. I've got a pair of eights. That could be worth something if no one else has anything higher than an eight. They're all just checking because they think I've bust out. There's every chance I could still win this. If no one has, if anyone's got a jack under there, I'm dead though. <laughs> That's the only thing. A jack or a nine will beat me. I shouldn't have gone all in. Eight and a two. Hey, I've won. Oh no, he's won. Of course, two pair. Reel my cards to the other players, why not? Sportsman like and all that. <laughs> In case it wasn't obvious, I'm not actually very good at poker. <laughs> okay, um. Okay, if you do. Yeah, that's what I thought. If you do practice, you don't have. If you do a practice round, you don't actually lose or gain anything from your bankroll. But there's not much point as the when there's no one else around. Eh, we'll have another go. There's got to be someone out there dumber than me. There's daft as that may sound. My well, problem is the load times in this game are so long. I mean I suppose it can't be helped but at the same time it's so hard. i 
tell you one game I'm looking forward to this year, it's Mario Odyssey. And Mario Rabbit's Battle. It looks really fun. Really, really fun. Um, Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. Of course I'm getting them, because I'm kind of trapped, aren't I? If I stop playing Pokemon now, I'll never get I haven't caught them all yet, but I intend to. So I'm the one in the bottom left corner with the green hoodie on. Who have we got? The germ. Then again, I'm the eternal stench, so... Yeah, the one with the heart's me, by the way. Oh, yeah, because I'm with the hearts, aren't I? I think they're the Japanese flavour of the club. If there isn't a dealer, which is usually a CPU, um, the players actually take turns dealing. You don't have to do anything, it's automatic. Now you might notice before he starts dealing, he, ch he tosses a card to one side. That's to, that's supposed to prevent um, card counting, which is illegal. In, it's not it's not cheating as such because you're just keeping track of what cards have been played, but um, it is. It's supposed to be illegal in cinemas. You'll also be noting I've gone a bit soft and I'm drinking bottled water. Um, simply because I haven't been able to afford any of the alcoholic drinks yet. Oh well. I don't like it really affects your ability to play anyway. All the drinks really do is give you boosts when you win. So you'll get um, experience. Please note that the drinks will not actually assist you in real life. Ten and a four of spades. I'm being burned so many times by spades today. I wonder if the affiliation gives you better luck with certain card types. I could be talking out of my ass, of course, but who knows. Raise the 30. Skull beanie, I want to say. I'll call that. Let's call it. See what happens. Then again, I'm the one sat there playing as a girl with green hair, so take that how you like. Really? We're just... Are we just, I'm sorry, are we getting out our dicks and just waving them around, are we? Is that what we're doing? Don't know why I went like that, that is not how you wave your dick at Not that I would, no. <laughs> oh god, this, got, this is getting out of hand. Alright, I'm going to stop before this gets too weird. Okay, I'm going to fold because this is getting stupid. I'm sorry, no, you all want to... You wanna dang you all wanna flick your sausages back and forth? You guys can do that without me. I tell you what, if I bust out this game I'll put something else on. I'll say this, the graphics are a bit half assed. I mean the actual graphics on the table and everything are okay. They're okay, they they serve their purpose. But then you've got when one of them, if one of them leaves the table, you'll see what I mean. Um, they sort of just turn, wave, and then they jump and vanish through the freaking floor. So I'm not entirely sure what that's all about. But yeah, I'll give this, I'll give this one more crack, and then uh, at worst, <laughs> it just means I'm going to switch to playing something else, maybe some Overwatch or something. I ain't played Overwatch in a bit. I was playing Mass Effect at one point, but I got really bored with all the slogging around you have to do. That's the only thing I don't like about those kinds of games. That you have to do so much driving around aimlessly in big open spaces. With only the vaguest of ideas of what you're supposed to be doing or where you're going. I mean, okay, fair enough, Mass Effect kind of told me what I was doing, but... So yeah, if you're the kind of person who plays poker, whether you're professional or otherwise, don't get into the dick waving contest because you'll just lose your money. I don't know if that guy did that on purpose or if that was dumb luck, but he did it. But all the dick waving started before the river was shown, so I'm not entirely sure what exactly happened there. I'm the dealer this time. Don't worry, I promise no tricks. Q and an A. Different suits, but alright.
That guy's just sat there. What's up, dude? Don't you want to play anymore? Watch what happens if he ends up. Mm. You know what? Screw it. It's a queen and an ace, isn't it? So. Does he not want to play anymore? Has he had enough? Probably wait and see what happens. Ooh, another queen! Nice! As long as she ain't got a pair of kings or, or a king or an ace under there. See, they're just checking now, so they don't have to do anything. If they've won, they've won. They don't have to do a damn thing. Now, if an ace comes up... Not quite, eh? <laughs> that guy in me, I think, uh, split that. Split part. It's in a jack, that's why you didn't get jack all there, love. I've actually just won more than what I started with. She's nice. Look, look, watch him. See him. Phew, straight through the floor. What's he made out of? Cloud? Might as well switch the camera around here. You can also do little emotes, which are kind of cute. Ace and a five. Hmm. Could work. Could work for my needs. Let's see what she does. No need to rock the boat this early into the hand. <laughs> I'm not interested in your dick waving contest. How many times? See if there's a three now, I've really missed a trick. Yeah, I thought so. Straight is the sixth best hand you can get. I apologize for any disgust you may be experiencing right now. The beard of wisdom has served me well. If I'd have gone in, I'd have lost to her. Even though I had an ace, she had the high straight, which meant the higher straight, I should say. Because hers went two to six. Mine would have only gone one to five. Not the best idea, really. Nine and a six. Hey, up, where'd you come from? I'll call, because I've got no better to do. So yeah, the first one, this first round of betting is called the blinds. So the idea is, you're a bit, 340, how do you get that high on that kind of play? But, the, the basic idea is that you're going in blind because you don't, you haven't seen the river, you haven't seen anything beyond your initial two cats. So going in all in this early on is generally considered unwise. But I'm gonna stick around see what happens with this hand and call that it. I love how subtle these things are. Seven comes up, I'm going to flip my shit, I tell you now. They're all just checking. You know what rhymes with checking? Chicken. Yeah, I'm done. 
overall win, I think, tonight. Come on. Probably could. Right, should we put something else on? Let's put this on. This is a weird game. Like, really, really weird. Excuse me, I would even go so far as to argue this is not actually a game. Although you can you can draw your own conclusions. I might have to put my lap on charge in a minute. Yeah, this surprised me. I didn't realise Ubisoft made this. Ah, oh, Christ, don't tell me I've got to wait for it to load. I... One of these days I'll figure out how to skip loading sequences. There we go, we're all ready to go. Smileys are kind of a central theme to this game. For some reason. Uh, I'll link later. Okay, so yeah, this game is all about this little guy, Bub. Trying to collect pieces of his scattered... Oh, don't make me sit through another loading sequence. Yeah, he's, he has the ability to basically climb anything he wants. I like a so. And using that weird little backpack device on his on his back. <coughs> He's able to create plants that he can use for various different means. I'm going to be honest, I have never been great with heights. Oh crap! Okay. Maybe we'll just... I could just climb up there. Don't ask me why he makes those weird noises. Or why he moves so weirdly. But yeah, this entire game is basically you climbing various structures. It's surprising it, for for what could very easily be mistaken for an indie title. It's a very robust little game. You know, I'll give I'll give Ubisoft credit where the where the deal. Look at that. I mean, I suppose floating islands aren't that special, but to me they are. Can we jump? Can we make this jump? Shall we make this jump? Let's try it. Yeah. 
Alright, I see. No, 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 no! Oh, crap! Yeah, if you die... Yeah, you've got to restart from the last checkpoint. Which happens to be this thing. Which is kind of annoying. Kind of sucks because it's really hard to go down in this game. Going up's not too hard, it's going down. That's the trick. We're trying to get up there, which, as you can see, might as well just be freaking impossible. We'll give it a go, though, see if we can. Never underestimate the ability to grab hold of stuff in this game. What's that? Is that something I should be staying away from? See what this thing's supposed to be. Yeah, you have to physically grab and pull stuff as well, which is interesting. Okay. Whoa. Yeah, this is one of those games where you really need to think about what you're doing. You can't just randomly let go and hope that'll solve your problem. It's also got a fairly unique art style. The gameplay is just slightly too repetitive though for my for what would be my normal taste.
Because I could kind of completely screw that up, didn't I? I'm assuming I had to do that to get it to grow further up, but um, There we go. The game's graphics didn't could. The game could have just used a little more polish in my mind. Here's another teleportation do do that. <laughs> okay. Am I the only one thinking that that bug is really weird, but also that that looks like a giant stone penis? Oh my god, it's all penises. Really long tentacle penises. What kind of fucked up anime shit am I looking at? Like, not even just anime shit, just fucked up shit. Why did I go that high? You know what? I think I'm kind of done with this one as well. Let's give Overwatch a quick bash. And then that's basically me done for the night, I think, after this. I gotta say, the one thing I really like about Overwatch is the just the world that built. That's why I like this game. Not because of the gameplay, although the gameplay is fantastic. But um, I'm really fond of the lore. And just the general attitude of the whole game. <coughs> I know for a fact I've got more unlocks than that thank you game.
I haven't even attempted season five because I'm not an idiot. Here we go. Volskaya Industries, eh? This isn't the actual game. Oh, we are attacking now. Okay. Who should we pick then? Um, two offense characters. No healers so far, we've got a tank. I can usually do a pretty decent healing roll, but I don't know if I want to. Pump the volume up slightly. <laughs> I'll be watching over you. Of yours. I know you stole it. What can I say? A girl just has to have the latest tech. Um. <sighs> I'll be busy soon enough. Attack commences in thirty seconds. I grow tired of waiting. Okay, here we go, ready? <coughs> I know I am. Four, three, two, one. Attack commencing. Capture objective A. Maintaining connection. Let's get to that outfit. The only problem with playing the healer is she's a bit poor on uh, offensive abilities. <sighs> Good as new. Can you see him ragdolling, can't you? I'm securing the objective. Anyone want to join me? Located their teleporter. Go on, get the teleporter. Ah, man. They've got them turrets all over the place, haven't they? My ultimate is ready. <sighs> A clean bill of health. I am ready to revive you. Okay, there must be a warhog on the team somewhere. Fucked. Damage was engaged. <sighs> The objective is mine! Medic! Still Valhalla! Behind you! 
Damn it. I'm not very good at shooting things. Mm. We need a better tank, don't we? My ultimate is over ready. My ultimate the is ready. Let's give her a cigar. Your safety is my primary Located concern. their teleporter. Yeah, if we can take out the teleporter, that'll take away a lot of their forward momentum. EMP activated. For your own safety, get behind the barrier. Located their teleporter. <laughs> Damn it! Wait, how does how does the robot have a soul? Can a robot have a soul? Apparently, this one can. Oh crap! Really? Well, I'm a little far out for that, love. Ah man, no good. This is it. Push forward. We are not doing very well. Should have stuck with healing, shouldn't I? I still have a job to do. Die, die, die. Ten seconds. We have to pick it up. Let's attack. Ah, damn it. Defeat. Man alive. Play of the game. One more game and then that's the end of this live stream. I got stuff to do tonight. You wouldn't think it, would you? Should have taken out oh no, wait, that was their teleport. Two of our guys dropped out. Why do people drop out when they're losing? Epic. Unreal. Now you got patience for people like that. Uh, the game isn't going the way I thought, so I'll drop out. People really can't stand the occasional loss on the record. Maybe I'll stick with my best character next. Who is that you ask? Well you will see soon enough. Ah, oh dear. Come on. Oh, here we go. Traveling Why have? If it works, it works. What? Hmm. 
Should I renew my Xbox membership? Hmm. Dunno. Bo 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 boom bo boom ba dum ba dum ba dum ba dum. I haven't figured out how to get to the final world yet, never mind how to beat the end boss, which I understand is supposed to be quite difficult. The game captures the feel of Banjo-Kazooie without actually being Banjo-Kazooie, which is kind of annoying. I think if they'd stuck with just making a platformer instead of trying to make a platformer, a bunch of mini games and a bunch of transformations and a bunch of other things, then uh, they'd have done quite well for themselves. I still don't get why it has to load. Cartridge based games didn't have this bad a loading time, did they? I am further than this, by the way. <laughs> This move controls like shit. Fun fact, you know that power bar there, that green bar? If you eat a butterfly, it doesn't do a damn thing. But if you run into a butterfly to pick it up, suddenly you can pick it up. Which makes no freaking sense to me. There was an ice flower there, am I supposed to use it for something? <laughs> yeah, your boss battle is shit, man, so I won't waste. I wouldn't worry too much if I were you. One other thing that's a bit odd about this game is it's really hard to know what you're supposed to be able to jump on and what you're not. It's like, am I supposed to be up here? Probably not, but here I am anyway. But there is something up there. Oh. Oh yeah, retro is a twat as well. Why is it you make a bunch of games that are supposed to be retro and yet they all use 3D polygonal graphics? I don't get it. <laughs> Hidden is a very strong word there. Ah, this is gonna suck. What?
camera is half the enemy. Supposed to be able to get up there? I'm not entirely sure. Oh, I'm supposed to. Ugh. No, I want to eat. So I'm supposed to eat the honey. Oh, I see. I don't even need to roll up this now. Well, that made sense, sort of. Oh no! Thank goodness, following war doesn't actually hurt you. Man, this game could have done so much better than it did. Yeah, maybe I'm not meant to actually go up that way. Yeah, one other thing I've noted is that those quills are meant to be used for picking up new moves, right? But they don't serve any other purpose. And nine times out of ten, they're not even placed in a, in a manner that would suggest, you know, because if I find a trail of coins in Mario, odds are they're in a hidden alcove. Oh, they're uh, leading me to something. How do I get in there then? So clearly I need a key of some description. Okay, so where would I get said key, exactly? Unless it's just locked until... Hmm... I'm not sure... Oh crap! Everything. 
It had everything it needed, but it just couldn't quite manage to be at least as good as Banjo Kazooie. Maybe I should just stop comparing it, that'll make life a little easier for me. Okay, so I'm not spitting the stuff. Notice that the water doesn't cool him off or anything like that, even though theoretically it should do. Hmm. All right, so there's fire there, so maybe I can use the heat element. No? You mean no? Oh yes I can. Right, I'm done with this. See you later guys. Bye bye.